It was Ettore Bugatti who, at the beginning of the last century, first recognized the advantages of a 16-cylinder engine and then built one. Modeled after an early airplane engine, he combined two eight-cylinder blocks into a twin engine with, for those times, an astounding 250 horsepower. More performance, more power, more comfort. All of these characteristics were part of this creative designer's concept. In 1928, the first Bugatti racing cars with 16 cylinders rolled out of the workshops in Alsatian Molsheim. Other well-known manufacturers also tried their hands at developing a 16-cylinder automobile engine, such as Alfa Romeo, Cadillac, or Porsche. At the beginning of the second automobile century, it is again Bugatti who has breathed life into 16-cylinder technology, taking advantage of today's high-tech engineering. Already by 2003, through a combination of unmatched performance, power, and comfort, the Bugatti Veyron is set to continue the tradition of the Bugatti purebred sports car. The heart of the Veyron is a 16-cylinder aggregate in an innovative W form. Four four-cylinder rows arranged in two V-shaped banks provide power to the crankshaft. In this way, the engine remains compact in comparison with a normal V12 configuration. Aluminum and magnesium components, as well as a clever lightweight construction concept, help to keep the vehicle's weight in limit, something that's important for a sports car. Alone the W16's figures are enough to make the heart of any Bugatti fan beat faster. 16 cylinders with an 8 cubic liter capacity. The engine's 64 valves are controlled by 4 camshafts and 4 turbo superchargers keep the Veyron breathing powerfully. Such an aggregate easily exceeds the 1,000 horsepower limit, and with its 1,250 newton meter, it has set a milestone in the sports car segment. Power and torque don't just come about by chance. A large number of innovative technical detail solutions make the W16 the non plus ultra among high performance engines. A continual electro-hydraulic camshaft setting allows, for example, the ideal control of the inlet and outlet valves for every operating condition. For optimal idling, the outlet valves open earlier, while the inlet valves remain in their base settings. High torque requires changes in valve control. The inlet valves now have to open earlier, with the outlet valves opening later. This setting, too, is realizable through the variable camshaft, automatically, according to the demands on the engine. If the optimal amount of power is desired, the picture is yet another. In this case, the outlet valves as well as the inlet valves are both actuated later. Thus, the Bugatti W16 engine can optimally meet the demands for more power, as well as more torque. In any case, it gets hot inside a W16 engine. Without exceptionally effective oil circulation, nothing would work. But what does oil distribution look like in an automobile engine, like the Bugatti Veyron W16, that runs at up to 6,000 RPMs? The engineers chose an especially shallow dry sump lubrication. 
and they gave the system still another exceptional highlight. A four-stage integral gallery-fitted oil pump, actually a typical component in Formula One racers that perfectly suits the Bugatti's needs. This extremely compact oil pump suctions the oil directly and thus ensures ideal oil distribution throughout the entire engine. Four turbo superchargers really get the Bugatti moving. The challenge was to overcome the force of inertia. Fewer but larger blowers would have led to what's known as the dreaded turbo hole. With four turbo superchargers, however, two on each side, the response, especially at partial throttle, is optimal. The result is high torque during the entire acceleration phase. Anything else would be unacceptable for a Bugatti. In addition to a purebred engine, the sporty drive requires a transmission that both doses out power and conveys it consequently to the wheels. For their flagship, the engineers chose the unconventional yet comfortable DC transmission. This dual clutch system, on the one hand, manages the enormous torque of the W16 engine of 1250 newton meter, yet at the same time allows for an extremely short shifting time of only two tenths of a second, which is precisely what a high performance sports car requires. The engine and transmission, regardless of how you look at them, the drive of the Bugatti Veyron is a technical masterpiece in every respect. A highlight in automobile history.